In this video, we will be going over the fundamentals of using an ultrasonic sensor. As you can see on the port view here, an ultrasonic sensor uses sound waves to sense distance. The closer the wall is to the sensor, the smaller the distance number. You can program your robot to perform certain tasks or actions at certain distances. As seen in this basic program, the robot will move the medium motor continuously until the selected distance is sensed, then it will stop. To do this, place the medium motor block and set it to on, then the ultrasonic sensor. To do so, place the weight block and change it to ultrasonic, and then select compare, and then distance in centimeters, inches, then add another medium motor block and set it to off. To adjust the distance the robot will sense, change the threshold value here to the desired distance in centimeters or inches depending on what you select here. You can also adjust the compare type, so it will perform the task when the threshold value or distance is equal to, not equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than or less than or equal to, the desired distance. Using an ultrasonic sensor in a loop program will make your robot perform the program task until a certain distance is sensed. Shown here, the robot will drive continuously until it is 50 centimeters away from an object that the robot can sense. As discussed before, you can also adjust the compare type and threshold value. In this example of using an ultrasonic sensor in a switch block, the robot will drive forward for one rotation, and then the switch block will check if the ultrasonic sensor is less than or equal to 50 centimeters away from the sense object, like a wall. If yes, it will do a task like showing dizzy eyes here, but if not, the robot will do a different task like showing mad eyes here. Remember to make sure your ultrasonic sensor is plugged into the same port you have selected on your programming. And that's it! There's your introduction to the ultrasonic sensor. Next video will be all about the gyro sensor. Good luck programming!